I, I did want to talk, you touched on Britney Spears a little bit. And we, again, with entertainment and I, last night, mm-hmm. um, they were talking about the Britney Spears-Jamie Lynn feud. Good for Jamie Lynn for finally getting uh, her name in the mouth well, she of got a book deal. entertainment tonight. Yeah. And they're like, can we just stop, right? Can we just stop this publicly? Meanwhile, we love it. Yeah. They don't want them to stop publicly fighting because it's really great. It's actually a really great thing. And I take back everything I said about freeing Britney because this is super fun. Sure. It's great. Mm-hmm. She should be allowed to be insane, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, a couple things. First, we'll go into her. She's dabbling a little bit now with... Um, I guess sketch comedy on her Instagram. No, no, no. This is a uh, it's a cry for help, is what this is. Just. Okay, but she's trying to she's trying to be funny. Trying, but it's a- again. Yeah, again, we love it. Well, her boyfriend's what Persian? Mm-hmm. Uh, the humor just doesn't translate to those people. Like it just doesn't. I'm sorry. What is happening? So um, it doesn't. So I, anyway, she's doing like a little bit of a like back and forth with herself. Have you seen this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sessions with Ashley. Oh yeah. Okay, let's just let's just play. Are she, we allowed to play it off her Instagram? Yeah, it's just okay, on good. her Instagram. She's right. posting it there. Huh. This is where you can find all of her. Three minutes and fifteen seconds. Now, we're not going to show all of this. No, we're not. We're just going to kind of get. You're going to get the gist of her her therapist. Um, character Ashley talking sure. to mm-hmm. Brittany. Probably. All of it is totally normal, by the way. Sure. So p- play that, Bob. Sure. Ends with Ashley. Okay, <laughs> Ashley, this is the third time you've been here this month. What brings you here this week? We need to start taking things a little bit more seriously here. Oof. I'm here to help you, but you need to give me the tools. It's not fun to help you. I, it's, it's, it's an insane person, yeah. Pooping, and stuff, okay. Yeah. Has a sickness. And obviously, it's an insane person. Yeah, it's an insane person. Obviously, getting in the way of you showing. We just need to, we'll get to the other character and she cut it off. Towards him. This is a very serious. What is this filter? Um, exactly. I, I don't know. Exactly. There's, There's so many things wrong with it. Why does she shoot everything on a security camera? That and because, because she's so small. Do you remember small? when we used to have, with Ross, we used to have to have the camera in the ceiling? Yeah. So that's what she's doing because she's not exactly where she wants to be. She's no, we, exactly where she wants to be. We had no, but she a, has a very high she's angle. She's hot. We had a switch in attire, it seems. Or yeah, 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 so this is the attire, other yeah. character. So now she's talking to Ashley. That was Ashley, the therapist, and now Brittany is, like, doing a response. But she doesn't understand editing where you, like, if you are going to do right, a right, talking right. to yourself situation, sure. like, you got to not cross the line, right, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Is this her attempt at TikTok? Yes. Because it's like, yes. you need to face one way mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm, face mm-hmm. the other way. Yes. And yes. people right. kind of get it. Right, yes. right, right. And I want a full season. Of sessions with Ashley. Oof. We might get it now because she's free. And the other thing is she is um, able to expose this um, rich trash situation um, of her family. Is it weird that I, I still think she's hot? Who? Like Britney Spears. No, that's not weird. Okay. Because I, mean, I, I think that's part of it. Technically, she is. Yeah, but, but I think that's part of it. Where it's like with Britney too, you're tuning in for your like, man... It's a goddamn shame what happened to Britney, you know? It's like a more crazy Jables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Funnier. She's more, she's way funnier. But, um, <laughs> and smarter. But, um, yeah, but I think that there must be also a little bit of a, a crazy girl fantasy with that, too. No, that's, that, that's, mm. you're just taking advantage of somebody who's fucked up. Like, that's, I could, like, Yeah. Even, I could see Giorgio trying to fix her at some point, like just talking her down oh, from things. Oh, so that's kind of like a, okay. But you're not having crazy sex where you're just like, oh, oh this, okay, is, this okay. person's okay. definitely not here. No, the dream is to just get swole enough to be her Persian boyfriend. Yeah, like, and I just like. Just get on all the TRT, have yeah. Dan coach me in the gym. Like they're not having sex, right? I, I just think all those medications, know. like most of them just take down Stride all up. of that shit. Yeah. Who knows? 
Uh, who knows? But uh, um, this... so, anyways, there's this, and then there's the cease and desist letter from a lawyer. Yeah. I guess? Yeah. yeah. Um, which we we are in a business where we've gotten anyone that has a friend that's a lawyer. Yeah. 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 Can you can write these kinds of letters, right? If you know anyone, you went to college with someone, you can write a letter to anyone to kind of scare them. Sure. Right? And, and it this happens is all the time. sort of what this is. We've gotten one recently of just like- Been in a million friend lawsuits. Friend lawyer that's like, hey, you better fucking- And yeah. we're like, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So- Get them all the time. Talk to you later, right? Get so, them all the time. So this one- um, does not sound... I mean, this one's a little bit blatant friend lawyer, right? Okay. Um, dear Miss Spears, this is the Jamie Lynn because she's been going all over uh, podcasts, Call Her Daddy. She Call has a her book Daddy. coming out. She has a book coming out, and so she's going everywhere talking about Britney Spears, which is fine. That's her life, right? So she was just on uh, Call Her Daddy. It's a two-parter. And I'm not sure, maybe Bob can check this. Has the second part, the second part was supposed to come out yesterday. It'd be um, on Spotify. The, she, they call her daddy's exclusive to Spotify. It was not coming out. Mm. I'm guessing because they wanted to cut out a lot of stuff or right. just wait and see. Rob would be up to date though. He's a big fan. Oh yeah. Oh, do you, or are you part of the daddy gang? Uh, <laughs> you better be sucking dick and doing anal. Yeah, I'm a daddy boy. Dad. I'm a daddy boy. <laughs> <laughs> So it should be out. It said part two was coming out, and this is January 17th. This said it's dropping at midnight, so it's, I guess okay. think it's all out, yeah. yeah. It is out. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure it's, like, completely cut down. But anyways, dear Miss Spears, as you know, I represent your sister, Brittany Spears, and I write, at her request concerning the above-referenced manner, we write with some hesitation because the last thing Brittany wants is to bring more attention to your ill-timed book and its misleading or outrageous claims about her. Blah, blah, blah. You, of all people, know the abuse and wrongdoing Brittany had to endure during the conservatorship. Um, talking about Jamie, his bouts of drinking caused me periods of torment and sorrow. Um, Brittany was the family breadwinner and she also otherwise supported you publicly airing false or fantastical grievances is wrong, especially. So there's nothing in here. They quote Michelle Obama. Mm. There's nothing in here that's like real lawyer. When you quote Michelle talk. Obama. <laughs> right. Okay. I don't know. I've never, I've only seen a couple of these letters that we've gotten. Yeah. You know, and most of the time they're quite professional. Yeah. It depends. Like it depends. Over the, I've gotten so many over the years where are you getting into like <laughs> real? Sometimes you can just tell somebody pulled it up on like uh, Microsoft Office and they were trying to find a border, and you were like, "All right, what? Like, what the fuck is this?" Right? Right. Other times, you know, you're able. Usually, you look up the lawyers whenever they send you things like this, and you're yeah. like, "All right, cool." Um, in this case, I bet Jamie Lynn actually does know Britney's lawyer. Um, and so it was kind of like a correspondence of like, look, we're going to say this. And then if you don't stop, we're going to file. Yeah. And look, the hardest part about all of this is all of this money that has gone to support their family over the years really did come from Brittany. Right. So like, I'm assuming, this is a fucking complete guess here. I'm assuming when she got her conservatorship back and got control of her money, she probably cut off the rest of her family from what they were getting. And then Jamie Lynn went in and said, great, how do I make the most amount of money out of this sign a book deal? And we'll do this. She probably got seven figures for this book deal. Yeah. Probably because she got cut off by Brittany and her, her new team, whoever that is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the family got cut off. I'm sure the dad siphoned off a gajillion dollars, so he's fine. Because he was looking after that estate all these years. If he was smart about it, he probably would have tucked away three to six million dollars a year, one at a time over the years, and stashed it away. And uh, congratulations. With the sister and the mom, though, you're kind of stuck. Because I, I, I think they were divorced. Mm -hmm. The dad definitely wasn't giving mom the money. Probably the sister. Uh, now that this conservatorship it is over, they're probably out of cash. And and this was the last grab of like, all right. How do we capitalize on every all the fucktard craziness that's going on now? It's just a new fun 
part. It is. It's of a blast. The story. It's a yeah, blast. And like yeah, even yeah, yeah. Entertainment Tonight last night, we were watching this. Uh, they were like, "Oh, ladies, can you cut out the drama? We've had enough of it." No, you haven't. No, you haven't. That's you the only thing that is giving on. you ratings and clicks and, and views and all that other shit. So y- yes, dude, you want this to carry on. I want it to carry on. I host a fucking podcast every day. I host ninety. Like right. the Ryan Seacrest Ro- podcast. Ross- I want all of this to happen. I want Trump back in there. I want as much chaos as we could possibly get. Sure. Because we're fun. bored. We're it's bored. Fun. Uh, Ross Cannon said, leave Britney alone. <laughs> I don't know if it's serious or not. It's hilarious. If it's not serious, if you are serious, I would love to leave Britney alone. If she will get out of I our face. I wouldn't. The other day, because I, again, I follow her on Instagram simply because I want to see the last post before she dies. Sure. She had the outfit the other day on from Hit Me Baby One More Time. Oh, and yeah. I was just like, yes. All right, cool, man. Yes. yes. Come on. Yes. Uh, now, the real book would be K-Fed, but he can't say shit. He's still on the teat for those kids because he's taking care of mm-hmm. the kids. Um, and uh, so he's still on that teat and he doesn't want to lose that money. Because I think he's getting somewhere in the neighborhood of two to two to three million a year for the kids, because mm-hmm. he takes care of the kids. Right. He's not going to say one goddamn word, but I bet you that guy's got the real stories where it's like, all right. Make a